that will even be with take. Uh, it's an informal movie. Can you imagine if five businesses decide that they will form a consortium and work together? Then we can begin to think of middle budget, high budget movies. And so we have seen some of the examples. We know that film is a tool to sell a country. It is a subtle product that you can use to attract people to want to see your country. I had the perception that every Chinese, you have any Chinese in this room, was strong enough to beat the whole of Ghana. Little did I know that uh, they, they weren't that strong. But growing up, I watched too many or too much karate movies. And so it showed a picture. It gave me a mental picture about Chinese. After recently that I got to know that some of them came here for mining and all of that, I thought all of them were uh, karate. You see every young man in this country says, I want to go to New York because they want to be like Jay-Z. Where did you meet Jay-Z? Beyonce, where, where do you know Beyonce from? She your auntie? It's the music video. It's a music video that has given you a mental picture about some of these people. And for all you know, it is not real. I'm sure you've seen that video um, from Akon saying that the Nigerians drive their own cars to shoot their music videos. Unfortunately, those in the West, the, the cars that they use in the music videos are very, very real. They hire them or rent for for, for just the shoot, we call them props. But we are made to believe that every performer in the West is rich because of what we see on TV. And so, people in their creative space, especially film, I would plead with you that consider your culture when you are shooting. Consider Ghana when you are shooting. Lately, a lot of people are shooting their music videos in different countries, and sometimes, you see their hair is blonde and the person's skin is black and I wonder the kind of person they are trying to create because we all know that black people cannot be blonde they can only be green and so the leaders of the film industry please consider selling our culture it's a big deal so that the ecosystem, that is the arts, our culture, which will end up selling our tourism. And when the tourists come to Ghana, it's the same creative people who benefit, because they go to watch the movies, they go to hotels and they dance to our music. They are the same people who buy our food, our fashion. When they're going back, everybody wants to buy your fashion. And so we'll, we'll be the end beneficiaries. Key stakeholders in the film industry are developing a local content policy that will influence the patronage of Canadian movies to boost the film industry. This will also enable the industry to contribute significantly to national development. To add to what my big brother Ivan Kashiga said, I see a lot of people have interest in international, international, but the books and experience will tell us that if you have not built your domestic market, you have no business within the international market. And so it is imperative that everyone in this room looks at Ghana first. I see most of the time say, so, oh, Eja Kumudi, we look at. We are, what's the name they use? Glamour. Uh, we are international. But every investor, proper investor, every proper businessman in the West, when they want to give you business or identify you as somebody you want to know, first question is your strength in your local market. Whether your local market alone can let them pay for their investments before they 
Hello. What is happening? You don't know the social more than someone's culture. And in selling, you must acknowledge culture. And so, please, uh, I, I, Ivan, my, uh, my big brother, it's a good advice you gave to them, and I hope it is well noted because it is the only way that you can get some capital to aid you export to the unknown markets. With, um, again, Mr. Pashiga, that this industry can create a lot of work or jobs for people. And for every government, I'm sure you all know that one of the things people look out for is the jobs you are able to create at the end of four years. They will definitely come at play. They will haunt you. And we as governments, President the Group of government acknowledges that this industry creates jobs. It does because the value chain is that long, especially film. He mentioned just the writer and then the producer or something. But those of us who are novice relatively in this space, even if I don't know how many it employs, when the film ends, I see the end credits. It gives me a clue of how many people who were involved in that kind of job. And so I know that there are a lot of people that this industry can employ. 